Here we are at the Yin and the Yang specialty boutique. A lot of cool Hindu and Buddhist statues, a lot of crystals, and also a lot of jewelry, a lot of beautiful jewelry in the case here. Bracelets and a lot of crystals. And oh, I'm sorry, no recording? Okay, sorry, thanks. No recording in there. So there's um, no recording. <laughs> so there's a lot of shops like that here in Glastonbury. Um, that was the first attempt I made at uh, recording one of them. So now I know that that's a no no. And I imagine a lot of the shops in town will have similar rules. So we're not going to try that again. Yeah. Instead, we're just going to window shop. And here's some an art supply store called Dickett's Art Supplies. Here's the Blue Note Cafe, which we saw earlier today. And that's what that looks like. And we also have the uh, bookstore right next to the Blue Note Cafe. It's called Courtyard Books. And it has a very eclectic selection of esoteric and metaphysical books. And they even buy books. So if you have some used metaphysical books that you want to uh, let go of, you can sell them right here. the Courtyard Bookstore. Down this cute little alley there's a bunch of specialty boutiques and shops. We went down there earlier today. And in this shop are a bunch, a whole bunch more crystals and jewelry and things of that sort. And now we're in downtown Glastonbury and we are right in the heart of downtown the main square or in this case the main spire which you can see has a Christian cross on the top right across is the crown Here's uh, some a souvenir shop of some of the local postcard photographs. The tour where we just were this afternoon. Right there is also a beautiful view. Two fifty each, two pounds fifty each. So this town square or the triangle is full of uh, activity, some music, um, some people expressing and exclaiming their different beliefs and their different uh, philosophies. Uh, it's a very peaceful, very friendly and very heartwarming vibe coming from the folks over there. There's where we had breakfast this morning at Heapies, which you can see a Google review of on my channel. Here's some uh, really cool clothing. Very dog-friendly community. I see lots of puppies. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Thank you. You've got some handsome pups there. Thank you. Here's another cool crystal shop. Amethyst crystal of the Buddha, particularly appealing. And then over on the other side is the jade and turquoise display. Look at all that green jade and turquoise. Holy cow. Those are absolutely gorgeous. Just one shop after another here in downtown Glastonbury full of these cool new age metaphysical display cases out front. Um, so we're coming up to uh, the main event here in Glastonbury this weekend is the Fairy Fair. And it's right up here on the left at the Town Hall.
the Fairy Fair is a once, I think it's a once annual event. It's, um, it's going to be right here in the town hall. And they even have a fairy ball tonight that is uh, 35 pounds per person. And it's right in this building here. The, the event is about to end. It actually goes to 5 o'clock this afternoon. And here's the banner for it right here. The Fairy Fair and Ball this weekend, October 19th and 20th. The Fairy Ball, I believe, starts at around 8, 8 p.m. Um, we can go in there tomorrow. We'll go in and film tomorrow. So today, that's it for downtown Glastonbury. Um, tonight, the characters will really come out in force in costume. There will be all kinds of witches and goblins and fairies and elves and even knights and possibly even some queens and kings walking around. Um, I've already talked to a couple folks who have their, plas their costumes planned and they're excited about going to the ball tonight. I don't see any walking around yet, so I imagine later tonight would be much more. Oh, there's Merlin. I did I did see him earlier today. So Merlin is out in full force every weekend. And he you can see him in many, many YouTube videos uh, about downtown Glastonbury. He even has some philosophical words of advice for each person he greets. So you can go talk to him for some words of advice. And now we're heading back to our Airbnb because we've just hiked the entire town at least once and now we're starting in the second time in this direction so we'll see you back at the airbnb and we'll do a quick video there tonight to show you our beautiful room and our comfortable accommodations all right well see everybody later